We all have times when we need a little help in the garden. We may go on holiday or we might just be too busy to find time to water our pot plants, only to return home and find a plant gasping for emergency hydration. Well, I've got the perfect solution for those thirsty pots that everyone can have fun making. It's low tech, easy to put together, and it'll help soothe a guilty conscience. I'm talking wicking pots. Wicking pots are the ultimate inconvenience. They work by holding a reservoir of water that plants draw on when they're thirsty, just like a self-watering pot. So first up, I need to patch any holes in the base of the pot. And this, this pot here has had a hole cut out of it. So rather than just put straight silicone, which could get pushed out by the, the gravel, what I'm going to do is cut a piece out of this old milk container and put it over the inside and silicone that in. It'll make a really good solid join to turn this into a reservoir. You can pretty much turn any plastic pot into a wicking pot. In this case, this is around about 450 millimetres. It tapers a little, but it's perfect. It'll do the job. So having sealed the base, what I need to do now is have an outlet pipe. So in this case, I'm going to put it about eight to 10 centimetres up the side of the pot and drill a hole. So this hole serves an important purpose. It enables the well of water to remain at a fixed height. So you can fill it up, but it will only go that far. And if you get excess rain or anything, it's not gonna flood the whole pot and drown your plants. And then I'm just gonna put this little elbow there. So that's the outlet pipe complete. I'm happy with that. The next task is to install the inlet pipe. So I've drilled holes into this piece of pipe, which will sit on the bottom of the pot in the water well. And it attaches to this piece of vertical pipe, and that's going to be the inlet. So what that means is you can put the water in here, it comes into the well and will wick up. And basically this also brings oxygen down into the soil as well, so it serves two purposes. So I'm going to attach the horizontal piece with the vertical piece with this little elbow. And then that can go straight into the bottom of the pot. So I've got the pipe loosely installed there. The next step is to fill the void where the water's going to be with some gravel, because that allows it to be a little water tank effectively. So I've just used some of this broken up old terracotta pot. Of course, you can use blue metal, but you know, broken bricks, broken pavers, just bust them up and use them. Now, the real engine room of a wicking bed is the actual point where the wicking takes place. So what you need is a layer between the gravel and the soil to keep them separated but that still allows the water to move up and down. There's a few options there. Of course, you can use what they call a geofabric because that allows the water to move. You might have a few offcuts of, of fly screen. It will do a perfect job. Or you could even use hessian. Again, that allows the water to move in and out. Today, I'm gonna to use this nice offcut of geofabric because it will serve the purpose perfectly. We're getting there now. The next step is to install the potting mix. I've used a premium potting mix, but I've also added to it some worm castings and some of my own compost. And it's just beautiful. So now is the happy time, which is planting, of course. And I've picked three moisture-loving plants 
that I think are going to really love these wicking pot conditions. First up, it's good old mint. You don't want to plant that in your garden because it'll go wild, whereas here in the pot, it's going to find that moisture and will just cascade over the edge. So my second selection is this Vietnamese mint. Again, this goes nuts when it has access to water. So its roots will really dig down. And like the mint, it will go mad if you leave it off the leash in the garden. Contained in here, it's got everything that it needs. It can't get out, but it can get down to the water. And to spice it up a bit, I thought I'd have a go at wasabi. Now, it grows naturally along creek beds where there's plenty of moisture but still needs drainage. So in this case with the wicking, it can get its drinking, feeding roots down into the water. I haven't done it in a pot before. It's a bit of an experiment, but let's give it a go. This really does make gardening in pots even easier. Whether you're on a balcony or a rooftop where it might be hot and windy and dry sometimes, this can really help you. All you need to do to check on your water well level is put water in here as soon as it overflows out here, you know that your tank is full. Well, there you have it, wicking. It's something we all can do. I need it myself because I'm on the road a lot and I get frustrated when I lose plants. In this case, I've planted out this mix of mints, but you can put veggies, you can put flowering ornamentals, you can put whatever you like and they will benefit from having that insurance policy of the water wicking well and the overflow so that if it rains, it's not gonna be flooded. Give it a go. It's as easy as ABC and let me know how you get along.